hello flirty sims welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello welcome in and welcome back to another episode of our cottage living series i know it's been so so long since i recorded for this series or in general i took a really long break i was actually planning my wedding and i got married about two weeks ago it just took up all of my time that's pretty much the only reason why i didn't record but i've missed this series so freaking much speaking about weddings are you guys excited about this new pack that just came out i'm planning on using it in this series because as you guys know in the last episode kai and daisy got engaged they found out that daisy was pregnant kai actually ended up moving in with daisy in her little cottage and he's been helping her upgrade the cottage especially the kitchen because daisy is wanting to open her own bakery and she needs a proper kitchen to be cooking in they also upgraded their little cottage farm before we continue with this episode, make sure if you haven't already to subscribe, it really does help out my channel and I appreciate it so, so much. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, which is crazy. I'm going to give you a little tour of this cottage. I, I don't know if I like how the front of the cottage looks anymore, but it's definitely more functional. Before I show you the outside, I need to show you what the inside looks like. Living area is pretty much still the same, but of course the kitchen has some upgrades. We finally have a place to sit when, you know, when they eat. I've just pretty much rearranged everything and added more space for them to cook and stuff. And then I kind of changed the hallway a little bit. This used to be Daisy's room, but now it will be the nursery for the baby. It's still empty because I ran out of simoleons so we couldn't decorate it. This is now Kai's and Daisy's bedroom. As you can see Daisy is still asleep. She's been so tired since the start of her pregnancy so she's been spending a lot of time sleeping so we'll let her continue sleeping. We won't bother her but if we go to the backyard it is way freaking different. We added like a fence around the chicken coop instead of having fencing all around and that way we can have more space we actually <gasps> why is the grim reaper here no i actually ended up buying a shed for the cow i don't know what's going on with the grim reaper but we're about to find out um <laughs> after i give you the tour um kai bought a cow so if you guys have any name suggestions for the cows drop them name suggestions in the comments below and then we have this little gardening space kai is taking care of all the gardening stuff while daisy is baking she's pregnant she can't really do all of this right now but let's find out why the grim reaper is here i'm scared probably one of our chickens no not him going to the chicken coop he's like waiting for them to wake up henry jr actually ended up passing away when i was renovating everything <laughs> let's just wait what if we just tell him to go away no he's he's literally waiting for them to wake up <gasps> oh no olive what a tragic way to start our cottage living episode at least he gives them a little pet before he takes them from us forever <sighs> tragic kai doesn't even know what happened he's just doing his daily chores he is up quite early though probably doesn't expect to wake up to a dead chicken let's have kai come over here and feed the chickens and collect all the chicken eggs we bought a bunch of new chicks we actually need to feed our doggo aspen is also an elder we only collected one egg oof not our dog having fleas oh, Jim he actually advanced in his aspiration while we were gone he needs to befriend a chicken cow or llama he needs to fertilize three plants or oversized Crop. okay hopefully we can find some good crops at the store today because we have a lot to plant here but we don't have any winter seeds i love how he just lets daisy sleep in because he knows that she's super tired he's just like taking care of everything he's like don't even worry about it just focus on your baking and actually daisy's awake now she's feeling a bit hungry but let's have her use the restroom first 
<gasps> oh my gosh, wait, we have a full-grown rooster! Is this him? Where is he? Where's our rooster? Wait, we have a rooster and a chick now. <gasps> oh, is this our rooster? Look at him, how handsome. It just says white hen. Oh no, this is the rooster. So cute. I love their feathers. So now we only have two chicks. Wait, what is she tense about? There really is a sweet spot when it comes to friendship. Too few is bad. Too many is also bad. This is getting out of hand. Daisy really needs to figure out who she does and does it need in life? She doesn't have that many friends, does she? Oh, she knows a lot of people. It's pretty much everyone from town. What are you talking about, girl? Kai's just finishing up some chores and then we're gonna go to the stalls and buy some more seeds. That's how Daisy's been getting her fresh ingredients, so it is important. He's like, I'll be back, honey. I'm just gonna go to the stalls and get some groceries and some seeds so we can plant for the winter. See you in a bit. And she's like, okay, thank you so much for going and buying some seeds. I appreciate it. And actually, um, did Daisy eat? Because before we leave, she needs to start baking a cake. Let's have her make a pumpkin pie while we're gone. We have so many pumpkins from the fall, so we need to get rid of them before they spoil. Yeah, let's get going to the stalls. And we'll bring Aspen because we might have to take him to the vet since he has fleas. We're here at the stalls and fortunately they're open. I was scared that they were going to be closed. Ooh, let's get some choco berries because I think Daisy actually needs some choco berries. We'll buy some more flour. Okay, I guess they don't have any seeds here. I think they're over on this side. What are some good winter seeds? Uh, I don't know. I'm getting flustered. They're seasonal summer plants, but where are the seasonal winter plants? I guess we'll just have to try and see which ones are the winter ones. I have no idea. Now we have to travel to the vet clinic. This is actually the vet clinic that Rashida owns. So this is our first time here, I think. Let's have Kai comfort Aspen. What a good boy, Aspen. It's okay. It's just, it's just the vet clinic. You'll be fine. Hey, are they coming for Aspen? Yes, it's your turn, Aspen, I think. Yay. Okay, let's go comfort him. Don't want him to be in the clinic alone. Let's do the basic treatment because we need to save up money for this wedding. I'm sorry, Aspen, but at least you'll feel better. <laughs> Why does Aspen look so cute with the cone? What a cutie pie. Oh, he's so sad. I'm sorry, Aspen. Let's go back home. Let's get him on a leash. Actually, he doesn't use leashes. Aspen, he's a good boy. So we're back home and I'm trying to see which ones we can plant. We're going to try lettuce seeds here, and then we'll do albergine seeds. I don't even know what that is. And then we'll do watermelon seeds and see which one grows. And then he can water all of those and maybe fertilize. Let's check what Daisy's doing. Is she done baking the cake? No, she just she just left everything. Girl, go bake a cake. I know you want to hang out with our lovely new cow, but you have things to do. Daisy and Kai are really close with their friends. We are going to have them over tonight and announce our pregnancy and engagement. Maybe we should announce the engagement first and then be like, actually, we're also pregnant. <laughs> and hopefully they take it very well their friend group is pretty open-minded so i don't think they'll have a problem with it but still they're very nervous about it let's host a pregnancy announcement we'll just tell them that we're having a dinner party but it will actually be a pregnancy announcement but we'll start the event at like around 6 p.m so let's have kai clean that up when daisy's done with the pie we can make a grand meal wait are you serious why why is the reaper back here excuse me sir you were already here in the morning oh my gosh he really is gonna take another chicken sir really 
Two in one day? Oh my gosh. Rem. Why you gotta do this? This is supposed to be a happy day. No, April. No. No. Grim really just took all our chickens. So we're gonna make a grand meal for our friends for the dinner party slash pregnancy announcement. Daisy's cooking skills have definitely improved since we first started this series. Do you guys remember when she would literally burn everything down? Like, look at her go. She's a total chef now. It really did help that she went to go work as a chef. And yeah, Kai's been catching all these fish, so they're fresh. It's It probably tastes so good because the fish is like the one thing that if you don't have it fresh, like you can taste it, you know? She finished making the fish right before her friends arrive. We'll just save the pumpkin pie for our friends as well instead of selling it. Everyone's getting here. Oh my gosh, how awesome. I know the living room isn't too big, so it's gonna be a cramped party. Aspen is excited to see all our friends. Let's have a heart to heart with everybody and be like, thank you guys for coming. Baby's like, so I have exciting news to tell you guys. Kai and I are actually engaged. And I'm very excited about it. And I also have some other news to share with you guys. I'm very nervous, but I'm also I'm also pregnant. And I was like, are you kidding me? And Kai's like, mm hmm yep, we're engaged. She's so excited. Look at her. She's so happy to be telling all her friends. They're just like, oh, wow, this is totally unexpected. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I made this special dinner for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Everyone's quiet right now. They're like, everything is happening so fast. I mean, they're excited for them, but it is happening fast. So I don't blame them for being a little bit nervous. Rashida seems to be a little bit upset about the announcements. I don't know why she's feeling upset maybe it has something to do with her and raul's relationship she feels like they've been together way longer so they should be getting married and having babies already but she focused so much on her career and now she's like kind of upset about everything she's trying not to show it she's really trying not to because daisy and kai are her friends and she does love them and supports them 100%. She can't help but be a little bit jealous. Dolly is so excited to be an auntie though. I think she's the most excited out of everybody. She's like, if you ever need me to babysit, just let me know. Poor girl, she's really trying to not to show her feelings. I feel so bad. Poor girl. Okay, it's getting late, so we're gonna send everybody home. Thank you everybody for coming over and being so kind about the pregnancy announcement. Everyone's going home, so every Kai and Daisy are gonna head to bed. So it is super early, it's like 6 in the morning, and Daisy woke up wanting to do some laundry. I think she's nesting and getting ready for the baby. So she's like wanting to clean everything. There's a lot of things to do in the house today. So hopefully we can get everything done. Yesterday, I guess she gained a sentiment with Dahlia. It looks like they're growing closer from happy memories. Dahlia is starting to see Daisy as a sister. It looks like there's a few things we need to fix, but you know, it's nothing Daisy can't handle. Even when she's pregnant, she can use her magic but not as much she overcharges on her magic a lot easier than when she's not pregnant so she needs to be extra careful he's just so full of energy today oh no her pie spoiled she didn't even get to eat it wait is there a spell that she can use to make it better Oh, that actually worked. Maybe she can, she can sell this pie. I didn't know you can like 
unspoiled things with magic that's really cool yeah see she's already overcharged and kai's awake i can help clean up the kitchen we sold the pie for like 800 simoleons oh my gosh kai is getting a phone call from raul and he says so i found a ring in rashida's bag i think she's going to propose to me i don't know what to do what should i say yes no god oh my gosh didn't i tell you guys she was low-key a little bit jealous not in like a bad way she's been with raul since they were in high school and they aren't making those steps forward so maybe she's just like you know what i'm just gonna ask him to marry me i think kai would say you should decide for yourself because as much as he thinks that they should get married because they love each other obviously ultimately it should be up to raul and what he really feels like is that something that he actually wants oh my gosh he said what do i want i don't know what i want i wanted you to decide for me it's obvious i can't count on you for huge and impactful life decisions that don't really concern you thanks for nothing kai oh my gosh bro we can't decide for you that's a huge life decision that you need to come to that conclusion yourself you know Dolly is super excited about the wedding and the baby, so she decided to go ahead and plan a batch party for Daisy. They are going to have a little tea party. Their first choice would have been to go to the pub, but since Daisy's pregnant, they can't really go out drinking. The next best thing would be to have a little tea party, have a few desserts. She just wants to do something special for Daisy now that she is going to be her sister-in-law so she just dropped by to invite her over to the surprise batch party so i want to change daisy's outfit really quick before we head over to the batch party i really want her oh this dress is actually really pretty maybe let's look for some different shoes maybe some cute sandals or even these these would be cute these actually match really well I like her hair already. We can add a little hat. This one is obviously one of my favorite hats, but I actually want her to wear it on her head. Let me see if I have one. Oh, this one is so cute. We obviously need to get her nails done too. That's really cute. These are my favorite nails, so I think we're just going to go with a plain French tip nail. Yeah, I really love this dress. We're going to stick with this outfit. So the girlies just arrived to the batch party and it's at this beautiful park. Um, excuse me, lady, you are not invited to this batch party. It's just a cute little tea party. Dahlia literally thought of everything. There's dessert, all the sweets, because we all know that these are Daisy's favorites. So let's come over here and grab a serving together. Lady, excuse me, you're not invited. This is not your party. Oh, uh, excuse me. Is this a witch? Is this from, is this a witch from the coven? Rosemary Anderson, excuse me? No, I think she's someone from Daisy's coven. Oh, did they find her? Oh no. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's kick out a wedding event. Um, yeah, I mean, they're already leaving, but that's very sus. Oh, and look at Daisy serving some tea. Aw, let's all grab some tea together. Are you gonna give her friend some tea? Oh, how cute! This is such a cute little tea party. I can't get over it gonna give Rashida some tea as well like, thank you and Dahlia oh she looks so happy oh Dahlia is seriously the best we're gonna have to thank her oh 
does she need to go to use the restroom there's a bathroom right here so she can go over there really quick she just can't hold in anything because of the pregnancy but at least there was a bathroom right here thanking dahlia for such an amazing batch party she's like this is perfect i couldn't have asked for anything better the desserts are amazing let's actually have them grab some more desserts Dahlia is just like, yes, I am such an amazing party planner. This is so cute. She truly made this batch party so special. She's going to be such a great auntie. I already know it. Daisy is just happy that she got such delicious desserts for her batch party. She's like, I couldn't have asked for anything better. And these actually look super delicious. Not going to lie. They even have a charcuterie board here it is getting pretty late so we're gonna end today's episode here let me know what you guys thought of today's episode in the comments down below and also do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up especially if you're excited to see this series after what seems like forever let me know are you guys enjoying the new wedding pack i'm not 100 percent sure on the pack yet but so far the batch party was a hit let me know in the comments down below other than that i will see you guys in the next episode bye